Over at Union Station, Metro's effort to make LA the transit capital of the world got on track. Rasha Goel has the latest on new rail cars that aim to enhance the passenger experience. This signing between officials from Metro and China Railway Rolling Stock Corporation, also known as CRRC, marks the start of a $178 million purchase of 64 rail cars for upgrading and improving the LA subway system. Our current trains are now nearing the end of their useful life of approximately 25 years. CRRC is headquartered in Beijing and is the world's largest supplier of rail transit equipment. The product has been supplied to 102 countries and regions. Of the 64 rail cars, 30 of them will be used to replace existing trains on the red lines and the purple line. The remaining 34 will be used in the new purple line extension from Mid Wilshire to Beverly Hills. We anticipate nearly 50,000 weekday boardings once all seven new stations, subway stations, to Westwood are built. We also anticipate there will be nearly 80,000 new daily trips on the entire metro rail system as a result of the opening of the Purple Line extension. Officials say the new rail cars will help improve the passenger experience. These new trains will feature active line maps that show passengers where they are at that particular moment along the line. Each car will feature LED displays that will provide passenger travel information. In addition, the contract will help create more local jobs. We have approximately 10% of all the jobs that will be created will go and be targeted uh, for disadvantaged workers. And that is very, very important to us. With the first rail car being delivered by the spring of 2020 and the rest within the following year, Metro is moving ahead on the right track. In downtown Los Angeles, I'm Rasha Goel for LA This Week. This contract also adheres the federal government's Buy America provisions, requiring 60% of component parts to be American-made, creating more job opportunities locally.